Hey guys, welcome to back to the channel. This is John with Space City EDC. Got another video for you today on uh, Leatherman Signal. Uh, this is uh, Leatherman's stab at uh, I'm kind of making a specialty uh, multi-tool. Uh, it's manufactured in uh, Portland, Oregon, USA made. If you're not familiar with Leatherman uh, Company, and uh, this is more of a specialty uh, Leatherman, more for the outdoor type, I would think. But uh, we're going to get into it and uh, find out a little bit more about it now. It's gotten a little bit pricey. Now I think they're running like $140 on the Leatherman website. Uh, that's, I mean, it's kind of high, but. Uh, is it worth it? Depends, you know. Uh, every tool is depends on how you're going to use it. What's worth it to somebody else may not be worth it to the next man. So let's find out about the signal. Uh, the signal is uh, comes in four and a half inches long, uh, fully closed. It uh, weight is seven and a half ounces or two hundred twelve point six grams. It's uh, the open length. It has a Nice blade there. The total open length comes to six, six and three quarters inches with the blade up. Uh, almost three inches on the blade. So, and the blade has a liner lock on that. And then you have a uh, the blade made out of 420 HC. Steel, like most of your Leatherman stuff, and they do a good job with it. It's not the best steel, but it's not a bad steel either. So, and here we have the liner lock, like I said, on all these. You see that? You have to push that in just a little bit, and it keeps it from folding out. This is your saw, and the Leatherman saws are really good. They work really well for small branches and light duty sawing. But you push in on that liner lock, just like on the blade side. And that'll close that up for you. Now, uh, the blade is uh, partially serrated and a straight edge combo blade. And uh, it has a couple little features in here that uh, make it unique. On one side, you have it's a uh, little diamond coated sharpener. And you can push this tab down right here. See that? Push that down, and this pops off. And you can use it to uh, sharpen your blade. You know, so uh, would it work on a larger knife? Probably not. This is something for emergencies, you know. But it does work. I mean, and. Uh, if you didn't have anything else, I bet you would probably be happy that you had it. You know, so it's a nice little emergency sharpener. And once you're done with it, you just put that back on there. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Push that down a little bit and it pops back in place. And you have a pocket clip here. It rides real close to the tool, real comfortable when it's in your pocket. And on the other side, you have a... Uh, fire striker but we'll, we'll show you how to get that out here they also have up here you have your carabiner clip bottle opener uh, you have a uh, let's see if you can see it right here it's a, uh, it's a 3 sixteenths and a quarter inch uh, little open end or close or close wrench I guess you would call it Three sixteenths on one side and a quarter inch on the other, and uh, you know that's also handy to have if you have a uh, project you're working on. You can put that in there. Now it doesn't lock, okay? So you would have to hold it in place, but you know it gives you a little bit of extra torque. So you know that's always a handy thing to have. 
and uh, you can put the leather bits in there, and it, they, they fit in there good. And then on this end, you have a little pummel or a little hammer. Now, uh, I could call it a hammer. Mm, I don't know. Grapefruit is like small little nails and, uh, you know, tent stakes, things of that nature. Uh, light duty stuff. You know, every, all these multi tools are light duty. You're not going to, you know, if you're going to get into the heavy stuff, you might as well just get you a full a regular tool, you know, hammer, regular hammer, regular set of pliers. But on the signal, you have a lock here. You push that up. I don't know if you can see that. Push it up, and the plier is open. Pull it down. Put that down. Pull that down, and they're not going to come off. They lock in place. Now they, because they're pretty loose. I mean, you can get get them open pretty easily. And then of course you have a, a nice set of pliers here. That's a needle nose. Uh, a regular set of pliers here. Removable hard wire cutters with your soft wire cutters. And towards the back, you have a hard wire cutter there. Uh, now, there is a, you could use the back part here for crimping. If you look back here, crimp, say, a butt splice or something. But these, uh, these cutters are real, real nice. They work real well. And your pliers come to a pretty fine tip. So they're real nice for the needle nose. I was going to tell you about the, uh, it comes with a whistle and a fire starter. So you pull that little piece back right there and you can get that out. And then you have a whistle. I'm not going to blow the whistle, but it works, trust me. I use it to calm my dogs all the time. So, uh, it also has this fire starter, which would work in an emergency. I don't think I'd want to depend on it, or it's not meant for that, you know. But if you're lost in the woods and uh, and you need it, then it, it could be uh, it could come in real handy. So see if I get this on here on on my camera with you guys. But yeah, you just put that back in there and push that down, and it'll pop over. I don't know if you've seen that. Watch this. So you push the you whistle back in there, and that little tab locks it in place so it doesn't fall out. And then you have your locking tools, which uh, they're all uh, they're not liner lock, but they do lock. They have a uh, lock back design. You have your removable bit here, and it locks. You know. You push down that little bar right there, and it locks in place. But the bit comes out and uh, snaps back into place there. It won't fall out. And you can use, you know, uh, an extension on it if you want to, or ratchets or different things you can get from the Leatherman uh, website. I like little extra add-ons. This fits in there, locks in, doesn't fall out. So you can get you a pretty good extension on there. Now the only thing about this though is with this extended, when you go to close this, that hammer is not gonna let it close all the way. Whereas, say on your uh, other Leathermans, if you have that out and you go to close it, it's a little bit more, you know, ergonomic. It fits in your hand a little bit better, so. But, uh, I mean, it's still doable. you just not quite as comfortable, I guess. You know, you get to hold your hand a little wider. But, you know, many times when I'm using these, I'll, I'll have it like this anyway. And I'll just use it like a long screwdriver handle. But, you know, it's there. And uh, it works. So, also has a flat tip, and you can use you can get the bit the bit kits that have other bits in there that you can uh, use with it. It comes also with a standard nylon sheath. 
I don't happen to have it with me today because uh, I just forgot it. But if, if you get one, you will get a sheath with it if you prefer to carry it like that. And then you have your can opener by a slash bottle opener and with a wire cutter feature here. So it locks in place also. But like I said, you know, and again, you have to hold this out of the way like that. So, you know. And last but not least, we have the all. Oh, get this out of here. Uh, come on. I've got the pliers in the way, so. Helps if you have fingernails, I guess. Oh, I'm having a hard time with it today. There we go. Alright, so you have your your awl. It's a nice little awl, very sharp. You can use it for a scraper, you know. Use it with your fire starting uh, your flint there. Uh, but, you know, then once again, there we go again. It's, uh, if you close it, it's, now the only difference is you can't close the handles all the way with the awl extended. So, you know, but you just have to get the length on it. Let me say that. And whereas the other locking tools, you, you, you can't. So, something to keep in mind. But, that's, uh, all the tools on this, uh, Leatherman signal. Is it worth $140? Uh, that's a question only you can answer. Uh, is it uh, something some people carry it every day and they love it? To me, it's more of a uh, something I would use camping or hiking or something out in the woods. Whereas, uh, you know, where it works, because I'm a mechanic by trade, so it works. I'd be more apt to carry a, a charge or a surge, you know. But hey, for the right person, it's the right everyday carry. So I hope you learned a little something about the signal. Uh, if you like this kind of content, content, give me a like and a share. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back in about a week with some more videos. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.